Hello students, myself Shainal. Let us begin new topic, stability of slopes. Slopes here may be man-made or natural, but basically an unsupported earth mass or soil mass is known as slope. Now, stability of them are very much important. If you see any of landslides, they happen due to their instability, right? So, stability analysis is very much important factor. Before learning anything new, you must understand their application or where do you apply the knowledge of this topic. So, stability of slopes are important when we are constructing highway embankments, railway embankments, as well as canals, etc. structures. So, let us understand them more thoroughly. So, I will start the lecture with earthen dams. Here, this surface of earthen dam can be more stiff. More stiffer surfaces are more safer. But, too much stiff is also not safe. So, you have to decide steepest slope which proper stability for any structure. So this is earthen dam. You have to provide soil mass here and that also should be stable. Same way when we are discussing railway embankments, there is also a slope. It cannot be too much flat, it cannot be too much stiff. Same way if you are going through a riverside or canal bank, you can see the slope. Again, slope of the canal is very crucial for water resources engineering. So, these are basic ideas and applications of stability of slopes. Let us move to next thing which is reasons of failure. Now, there are several reasons of failure. Let us discuss them. Action of gravitational forces. Here, you can see one figure. In this, this is a form soil strata. Here, by this green line, I am showing kind of grass. So, you can understand this is a soil strata. Now, whenever soil mass will be there, it will try and move downwards. Due to gravitational force and these component of weight will make your soil mass fail or unstable. Then, landslide will occur. Another one, there is seepage forces within soil mass. Now, if the water table as the inverted triangle is showing, here it is water only and water is going through this area. So, these seepage will make the slope unstable because the moving water is here and this soil is above that. So, this soil will not be so much stable and that can be a failure. Excavation or undercutting of its foot. Sometimes when you are constructing or excavating, you do construct or excavate at wrong places. At wrong places means if you uh, cut foot of a slope, then slope will be unstable and it will come downwards. Disintegration of the structure due to weathering. Sometimes after long time due to weathering like some areas having heavy rains or heavy winds there may be due to weathering the disintegration will make your slope unstable so this is also a failure of slope forces due to earthquake here when earthquake occurs earthquake will occur in horizontal direction as shown and weight of soil mass or weight of earth mass will be in downward direction. So, both of them will cause unstable slope due to earthquake. And anyway, you can understand due to shaking also, slopes may get unstable. Sudden lowering of water table adjacent to slope. So, sometimes by water table reduction or we can say water table lowering. Water table, if you can see uh, this inverted triangle and this one 
before two days the water level was here and after two days it went down then this slope will be unstable and it will cause a failure like this so these are several reasons of slopes getting failed so moving forward to finite and infinite slopes let us understand them if a slope represents the boundary surface of a semi infinite soil mass semi infinite means if you are watching a mountain and a mountain is too steep and lengthy then you may think it is semi infinite kind of thing right and soil properties for all identical depths below the surface are constant or may be assumed as constant is called infinite slope actually in field there is no actual infinite slope but some very long slope mountains are assumed as infinite slopes and if the slope is to limited extent or it is only up to limited extent where you can reach or easily you can see that it is finite slope for example we can say slopes of earth dam where you can see it easily canal banks slope it is also visible easily so these are finite slopes so factor of safety is very important in engineering because human tendencies are like using resources on maximum scale if you are making a building for five people the human tendency will tell you to use it for maximum scales or use it more over than that so we have to keep factor of safety in all our engineering now <clears throat> in geotechnical engineering in slopes there are three types of factor of safety are used first FOS with respect to shear strength FOS with respect to cohesion and FOS with respect to friction let us understand them one by one they are important in stability of slopes factor of safety with respect to shear strength formula for that will be fs is equal to tau f by tau where fs is factor of safety tau f will be maximum shear strength which is available and tau which is mobilized shear strength tau f and tau can be defined by tau f is equal to c plus sigma 10 pi and tau is equal to cm plus sigma 10 pi m here shear strength chapter gives us the formula c plus sigma 10 pi right and here tau f there is maximum available strength and here tau means mobilized whichever is used or we can say uh, ultimately used which is mobilized here c will be cm and phi will be phi m phi m means phi mobilized and cm cohesion mobilized Furthermore, Fs can be written as tau f formula c plus sigma 10 pi upon tau formula that is cm plus sigma 10 pi m where cm that is mobilized cohesion and pi m that is mobilized angle of internal friction which we have talked before a minute. Moving forward, let us analyze this equation like this cm plus sigma 10 pi m make that a subject we can get this. Now, if I divide both of them individually by Fs, we can get this equation. Now, Cm can be defined as C by Fs and Sigma 10 Phi M can be defined as Sigma 10 Phi by Fs. Here, if the soil is purely cohesive, you can use the upper formula and if the soil is purely non cohesive or cohesion less you can use this bottom one here fs is equal to c by cm and fs can be written as 10 pi by 10 pi m sigma sigma will be cancelled that is why we can write fs is equal to 10 pi by 10 pi m so this is factor of safety with respect to shear strength now factor of safety with respect to cohesion and which will be named as fc here fc is equal to c by cm we have discussed it earlier where fc we know that factor of safety c that is available cohesion and cm that is mobilized or 
are utilized coefficient. Now, FOS with respect to friction. F5 can be written as sigma 10 phi upon sigma 10 phi m. Now, sigma sigma can be cancelled out and F5 will be 10 phi upon 10 phi m. Where F5 is known 10 phi or phi that is angle of shearing resistance and phi m that is mobilized angle of shearing resistance. Types of slope failures. First type rotational failure. When earth mass or soil mass fails in kind of direction in rotational direction it is known as rotational failure. Now rotational failure is divided in three types. First phase failure. Now when the weak plane of soil, soil slope will be above the toe above this point above the toe it will phase fail or we can say it is a phase failure you can see a blue line which is a failure line which is going above the toe it is not touching the toe in second case toe failure it will pass through the toe or we can say weakest plane is passing through the toe and failure line is also passing through the toe then it is known as toe failure and when weakest plane and failure line is passing below the toe and taking the toe with that it is known as base failure you can see a base failing here so these three types are basic rotational failure types so in most of the cases toe failures are seen so toe failure is very much applicable in the field second failure that is transitional failure here two planes will transit in infinite slopes two plane will the failure plane will move like this here you can see in the figure the soil mass earth mass is getting transited in between two planes it will happen like this in third case compound failure compound failure is basically combination of rotational failure and transitional failure when both effects are on your earth mass or soil mass on slope both the effects will together act and will make a compound failure you can see the shape of both coming into picture next failure that is wedge failure where wedge failure is almost like a transitional failure a different a distinct wedge will come out of the slope or it will slide down the slope a wedge or a uh, we can say a substance or a piece of slope will come out here uh, transitional failure will only occur in infinite slopes where wedge failure may happen in finite slopes also where weaker, weaker planes are like cracks or fissures in the rocks it can happen like this miscellaneous failure apart from all these uh, slow failures some failures are very complex to understand these are miscellaneous failures we can say spreads sometimes whole slope becomes like a spread it spreads in the soil very easily and no failure symptoms or no failure reasons can be found out it is very complex to analyze or we can say flows are also occurring from mountains or from uh, slopes right so that's it uh, in this lecture we will understand more theory in next video thank you